Welcome back to the Tax Advisor and Biz Coach Success Podcast. The purpose of these episodes is to help entrepreneurs become more successful, avoid tax and other business headaches. Remember to tune in frequently as we will be sharing tips, secrets, and expert recommendations in how you can manage your finances, improve wealth, and grow your business. Please like, share, and subscribe. Here's your host, Liz Soria. Hi, folks. Um, today we're going to talk about actually a very important topic that has uh, been hitting the, the news really hard, and it has to do with China and the tariffs and what our President Trump has been posing. And I think that uh, this is a topic that I really needed to. Um, I need to bring up to to everyone's attention. Um, why? Because I do specialize in e-commerce, um, and I think that a lot of people not really uh, thinking ahead of them of what might be the possibilities um, that once all this gets implemented, that could be an issue, especially if you're selling products, right? Um, because if you are selling something tangible, um, whether you might be doing it B2B or B2C and using platforms like Amazon and eBay and Shopify, or even perhaps your own direct website, you need to be a little concerned about this. And the reason behind that is because people are not really paying attention to the true story behind the news. Um, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Liz Soria. I am a tax advisor and accountant. And uh, one of the niches that I specialize in is e-commerce. And out of my clients, I have learned quite a few things. And uh, I, I, I really believe that right now we have a situation that you need to keep an eye. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because People are saying, okay, so once the tariffs, you know, tariffs go in, that means that obviously the product the Chinese can sell over, you know, United States, it's going to increase in, 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 in cost. And that is a true fact. Um, however, let's keep something in mind. As a country in the United States, we are big consumers, big, big consumers. We're one of, probably one of the biggest consumers uh, countries around the world. And... China really needs us as much as we perhaps perhaps need them. And the reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people say, oh my God, if, if, you know, if, if China decides not to sell anymore to the United States, what's going to happen? Most of you are buying products, I know, from possibly manufacturers directly over there in China, or you're using Alibaba or AliExpress or any other manufacturers over there. The issue with that is that this is what I recommend to even my own clients, like I said, that they're selling online right now as an e-commerce business or as a retail. Because many of you are retail, but you have transitioned to e-commerce too. Am I right? Okay. So let me get to the point. You need to have, and this is my suggestion, you really need to have a backup plan. You need to have a backup plan because if something happens, more than what we hear in the news, that for any reason China decides, hey, I'm not gonna be paying those tariffs, I'm not gonna negotiate this deal, I really don't care any longer, guess what? They're gonna be really hurt, because like I said, we're one of the biggest consumers countries, so everybody wants to sell to the United States. Everybody wants American dollars. Um, and the fact is that right now, we have options. That's right. We have options to go to other countries who are willing to do business with us. Okay. So my suggestion on this video as I'm doing a solo episode is that it's very important that you have a backup plan. That means that you must have and start thinking at least as soon as possible, start thinking about creating, okay, creating a backup plan with another country. And one of my, my recommendations is really whether you might want to go to India that's right. Or you might even want to head to Mexico. Because these are the two countries are the ones that have done a lot of business with us so far. And you might have a great opportunity, a great opportunity to have another manufacturer do the type of product that you're really selling. Because again, if something should go bad with China, at least you don't stop your production. And your sales won't be hurt. Think about that for a moment. So I wanted to really create this solo episode because of that, because I'm seeing a lot of my, even my, my own clients, they're depending too much in, in, in China. And I want you to prepare yourself 
if something should happen, it's better always what to be prepared than to be sorry. So I hope my tip is helping you with that because, uh, like I said, the last thing you need is that you have an order in place. They have perhaps done a down payment for your products, and next thing you know is that the you know the, the manufacturer in China says to you, "Hey, by the way, we're not going to be sending any uh, merchandise overseas. We're not sending you the, the the products." And what do you do at that point? Think about that for a moment. You need to fulfill that order. You already have a commitment. You already have an obligation that you accepted this order from your customer. So please. Look into it and start doing your research. What other companies, like I said, especially between India and Mexico, perhaps you might have other research they can do in your end that can actually facilitate that product for you. And who knows, probably even a better quality. Okay. Um, so I hope this tips helps you. And like I said, um, if taxes are going up, well, guess what? Yeah, we're going to end up as consumers, they're going to end up paying a little more. And, um, and also, you know, don't, don't lose, uh, you know, concentration because if you have an opportunity, even here within the United States, um, as you know, Trump has been trying to pull and pull more business into the United States because he really feels that we have the capacity and the skills and the experience to really build these kind of products. Would well, it might be a little more expensive? Yeah, maybe 10% more. Um, but think about the savings that you're going to have, not having to pay for overseas shipment, shipment, um, you know, uh, duties, uh, you know, everything else that you have to be spending. So the 10% that you think you're saving, you might end up saving it anyhow if you find a manufacturer, even here in, in our own home country. So anyhow, I hope my tips has helped you. And like I said, if you have any questions, um, also I want to bring up something really, really important is sales tax and nexus. Please take the time. Check some of my uh, previous uh, solo episodes that I have talking about this topic that I, I see a lot of e-commerce business still really ignoring this issue, thinking, oh, it's not going to happen to me. The state is not going to find me. I'm going to continue selling thousands and thousands of dollars, and uh, it's not going to happen. The, trust me that it will happen because it's happening to a lot of my clients already. They will find you. It's very easy now in, the, now in these days. Remember, the same way customers can find you, states can find you too online. Think about that for a moment. But if you need any assistance, again, we do a lot of sales tax and nexus checkup to see where your, your biggest exposure. And if you want to get a little more details about tariffs with China and everything else, please reach out to, 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 to my, uh, my team and myself, and we're here to help you. Again, this is Liz. Sorry, a tax advisor and accountant. And uh, I hope to talk to you very soon. And like I said, please be alert. Um, start, you know, um, making that plan. Um, you know, you always want to be prepared and sorry, right? As the old saying goes. So anyhow, thank you a lot for watching, taking the time. And like I say, reach out to us. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.